Hello everyone. In this video, we are going we are going to discuss about the real numbers and what are its subsets and how it is related with each other. Okay. So the very first numbers that comes over to our mind is are the natural numbers. So natural numbers are nothing but the counting numbers. Like if I want to count how many students are in the class, so it may be 10, 20. Okay. So, natural numbers are the numbers which are known as the counting numbers. Okay, so example, they start from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and so on. Okay, so if you say 100, yes, it's a natural number. If you say 1000, it is a natural number. If you say 9000, it is a natural number. Okay, the numbers that we use for counting. Now, sometimes it may happen that in a class, no student turn up so what i will have i don't have any student okay so but how do i denote it if i have only natural numbers in natural numbers i can count the students as either one student two student three student but if i don't have any other student any student in the class then i cannot count it here in the natural number so for that purpose we have to include 0 to the natural numbers because no student means 0 student. So, when we add 0 to the set of natural numbers, we get the set 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, these are the natural numbers and we have added 0 inside it. Okay, we included 0 in this set. So, we have to give name to these numbers again. So, that's why this number introduced as the whole numbers okay so natural numbers means the numbers start start from starting from 1 2 3 onwards and the numbers starting from 0 are the whole numbers so you can see that every natural number is a whole number because set of whole number contains the natural number now moving forward there is a need to consider the negative numbers say minus 10 minus 20 minus 5 minus 2 so it is neither included in natural number nor in the whole numbers so these are nothing but the whole numbers and the numbers and their opposite or their negatives so we call them as the set of integers okay so now we have the set of natural numbers whole numbers and the third as set of integers so integers contains all the positive and negative numbers okay now moving forward we talk about the rational numbers okay so what are the rational numbers we define the rational numbers in the form of p over q so where p is the numerator q is the denominator Provided that this Q, the denominator, should not be 0. So, any number written in this form is called a rational number. Okay, because you see here in this previous example of natural whole and integer numbers, you don't have any number in the form of P over Q. It's just one number. So, when we talk about the rational number, it includes the number which are in the form of P over Q. For instance, I say 2 over 3. So, it's not, it's neither a natural number nor a whole number or not or an integer. So, these kind of numbers comes under the category of rational numbers. Okay, similarly, if I say 1 by 2, it is a rational number. Minus 6 over 7. Again, it's in fraction form like some numerator divided by denominator. So, yes, it is a rational number. Now, other than this p over q form, how you can represent the rational number in the decimal form? So, if you remember, the decimal number is a number with point and then you have another number. So, for instance, if I say 2.5, okay, so this is a decimal number. Now, how you identify that 2.5 is a rational number or not? So, for that, there is a rule like if you see a terminating decimal like 2.5 or 
5.623 terminating decimal terminating means after decimal you have one digit two digit or three digit or four digit and then you stop then such decimal representation is of the rational numbers so for example you can write 3 over 2 but if you solve it by calculator you get it like 1.5 and then you stop so it's terminating decimal hence it's a rational number similarly 5.62 and then finish after 2 there is no other number so yes it is a terminating decimal and hence a rational number now other than that what is other way of representing a rational number is repeating decimal repeating decimal means the number keeps on repeating after the decimal so if you see this 3.262626 so what you see this two numbers 26 keeps on repeating and it goes until infinity like infinite number of times so since it's repeating it's not terminating but it's repeating so it is a rational number now here what's happening 245 then 245 again it's repeating okay uh, the 6 is not here it's my mistake so this is again a rational number similarly if you have 0 0.3333 so on again a repeating decimal so you call it as a rational number. So what you need to remember in decimal form, you can represent the rational number as a terminating decimal. Means after point, you will have one number, two number or three number and stop. Or non or repeating decimal. Okay. So in this case, the other way of representing such numbers are three point. Now you see two six is repeating. So you write two six and then put a bar above it. Similarly here, how we can write it? 0 point, which three numbers are repeating? 2, 4, 5, repeating. So you put a bar. So this is a representation of repeating numbers. Here, similarly, only 3 is repeating. So 0 point, 3 bar. Okay. So remember that the decimal representation of rational number is either it will be a terminating decimal or a repeating decimal. Now, moving on to the next kind of numbers. Irrational numbers. So, irrational. Irrational. So, it means not rational. Any number which is not rational is irrational number. Okay. So, it means that it is not possible to write the number in the form P over Q. Okay. So, what are those numbers? So, you know about pi. So, if you check the value of pi, it is 3.14159265 and so on. It never ends. So, what you observe here, after decimal, no number is like, you don't find that something is repeating. You see here 1, but the next digit after 1 is 4 here and here 5. So, it's not a repeating. So, when it repeat, it repeat in a pattern. Okay. So, it is an irrational number. Similarly, E, if you check the value of E, again, it's not repeating in a pattern. Like, you see here 182, 182, but the number before is 7 and here 8. So, yes, it's not a pattern. So, it is an irrational number. So, how do you know that? Okay, pi, you will remember, it's an irrational number. E, you will remember, it's an irrational number. Similarly, you will remember root 7, root 5, irrational numbers. Okay. What about root of 25? What do you think? Root of 25 is 5, which is a natural number, a whole number, an integer. And it is a rational number. But irrational numbers are not rational. So, root 5 is, root of 25 is a rational number okay so it's better if you remember pi e root 7 root 5 and similarly root 3 means it's not a perfect square the number which is not a perfect square is a rational number is an irrational number now 
when it comes to the decimal representation so it should be non terminating and non repeating so any decimal number which is not terminating and non repeating is known as irrational number you can see it from here why 3.14159 it's neither terminating because it keeps on going nor repeating so it is an irrational number same is the case with e so another example suppose you have 0 0.9482137507264 and so on keeps on repeating like it keeps on going sorry not repeating so what you saw it's not terminating and no number is repeating so it means it is an irrational number. Okay. So these are the five sets of number system that you need to know. Then what we say real number. Real number is a set consisting of all these numbers. Or rational, irrational, whole number, integer and natural numbers. Okay. So. We started with the counting numbers that we also call as natural number. Included 0 that gives you whole number. Then included their opposite, their negatives that gives you integers. Then you put it in the fraction form. P over Q form gives you the rational. Irrational numbers are the numbers which are not rational. So you don't have anything common. So the collection of these two gives you the real numbers. Now. What kind of questions you will get from this? So you need to remember these definitions and how the questions will be asked based on this topic. Like they'll ask you, identify the following as a rational or irrational. Root 3. If I'm using R for rational, I, I R for irrational. I R for irrational. So root 3. It's not a perfect square. So it is irrational. 0.444. So what you see, there is a pattern. 4 is repeating. Right? So you can write it as 0 0.4 bar. So yes, it is a rational. 3.27561. You saw 5 digits are there, but dot 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 means it's keep on repeating. Keeps on continuing, not ending. And non-repeating. Not repeating. And not terminating. So what is it? It is irrational. Why it is rational here? Because it is repeating. Next. 27 over 10. Yeah. It is in the form of P over Q. Q not equal to 0. So it is a rational number. Root 4. Root 4 is nothing but 2. Because when you take 2 power 2, it gives you 4 and it's 2. It's a perfect square. So it is a rational. It's a whole number. It's a natural number. It's an integer. Also a rational. Why you have written rational? Because here we have asked to identify whether it's a rational or irrational. Now, last one. If you see 3. Okay, you see 3, 2, 5. Okay, so there is a pattern. 3, 2, 5, 3, 2, 5 is repeating. So, 0 0.325, you can write it as bar. So, repeating. Non-terminating, but repeating. So, hence, it is a rational number. I hope it is clear now. Now, moving on to next. Another kind of questions. Which of the following is an integer? So first you need to remember what are integers. It's the negative numbers like minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2 and 3. Negative numbers and the opposite. Okay. So 3.5 it is rational. Pi if you remember irrational. 1 by 2. It's in the form of P over Q. So rational. So what is the integer? Minus 3. Next. 
identify the irrational number irrational means it's either have pi e root of 5 root 7 these numbers or non repeating and non terminating so you see pi here so yes this is your irrational this is the integer this is rational what about a? It's a repeating decimal. So again, rational. Okay. So you have to select your answer. Whole number. Whole numbers are the numbers. Natural number and 0. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. Here it's negative number. So this is integer. Minus 10. Again negative. So integer. Here it's having fraction. This is mixed fraction, whole number and a fraction part. So this is kind of numbers are called mixed fractions. So again, it's not an whole number. So what is your answer? Zero. Okay, natural number, the easiest one. 3.1212, repeating. So this is rational. Zero, whole number. Minus 3. Integer. So what's your answer? 5. I hope it's clear now.